Matt, yeah, you guys obviously did a good job of limiting Decker tonight, but then Kaminsky had um, the strong game he had, and, and they shot really well from, from three overall. Just maybe talk about defensively where you felt the shortcomings were tonight. Well, I, I thought they did a good job with Kaminsky and Hayes of really holding you know, Hammonds accountable you know, in the game. And uh, I thought they had isolated him and did some things and some pick-and-pop action and some one-on-one -on -one, um, in the post. And uh, Frank Kaminsky has really improved. I mean, he's a good player. He causes a lot of matchups, and um, you know, you know, AJ is going to have to get better defensively, you know, and being able to guard people who can go out on the floor and put the ball on the floor and shoot threes. And um, you know, if we're going to get better, it's not the only thing, obviously, but um, you know, our improvement on the defensive end. Um, you know, you, you see it in spurts, and then, then we take, you know, then we take a couple steps backwards. Coach, you finished, uh, the team finished 45% shooting, but you guys, especially in the first half, you, you would go long stretches without yeah. getting good shots. Is that just poor shot selection and experience, good Wisconsin defense? Well, I, I Why thought that? Um, we, we got the shots that we wanted, and then, you know, they backed up off some guys, and some guys took the bait. We took too many threes, and we just didn't probe the defense and show enough patience. But we got the ball where we needed to be, and um, just didn't finish so, um, at the rim a couple times and a couple other times we needed to make the extra pass and just continue to put them on defense and we just didn't show enough discipline I, I felt and I thought we shot those threes early I mean we made three threes and two of them were you know at the end of the game where they didn't count so we really made one three the whole game. Jeff, you mentioned, you mentioned Kaminsky's growth a couple times, once on the teleconference, once tonight. When he's more aggressive than he's been in the past, especially on the interior, and then if he couples that with some three-pointers, what does he give them that maybe they didn't have earlier in the year? Well, I just think their ability to stretch the defense, even with Hayes. I think both of those guys, you know, they can – Hayes will Sigma um, and, and shoot that 17-footer or drive you. And both of them can pass um, the basketball. But Frank has really done a good job of just kind of taking what the defense gives him. If he feels he has a mismatch, which I think he feels with Hammonds and his inability to move his feet at times, um, you know, he's going to look to, to, to drive him. That's, that's the hardest cover for our big guy for Hammonds. That's, that's a tough – Deal and so he, he does a good job of picking the spots and you know anytime you can shoot it 11 times and get 22 points that's pretty that's pretty efficient and uh, just a combination of that and then you know Kendall had a, a shot I don't know if it was a two or a three to to, to cut it either um, you know five or four um, at the time and you know didn't go in but it had been a big shot for us. Jesse Matt last year your team came here and won on Senior Day that's the only time that's happened uh, since Bo Ryan has been here mm -hmm. in your experience. Do, do good teams do a better job of sort of weathering those emotions, or what do you think is... I think it's difficult. I, you know, I think they're in the same position in halftime they were before. I think they're up um, in the game. I think sometimes when you have won so much at home and you, you have a lead and you have a better team, I think human nature kind of fell into that game last year um, where we caught fire. DJ Bird made some shots. We were able to get in transition, and then we played pretty well defensively in that game. We kept the ball out of the post, and then tonight, I don't think we did a great job of keeping the ball out of the post and so the combination of that kind of led um, to us having that great second half and you know I think we outscored him by 20 in the second half. Jeff, man, I know it's just one play, but you guys called a timeout. You were down 10, and I'm sure you devised a play. Yeah, and <laughs> that was pretty sweet, wasn't it? <laughs> were you trying to get Stevens open, or what happened? On yeah, we were trying to get Stevens open on the screen. Frank did a good – Frank just stared the play down, and he looked at Josh because Josh got caught up on the screen, and Frank was reading the screen the whole time, and he we had two <laughs> options, and so then he had to go away from Kendall and go to Ronnie Johnson, and uh, he was just staring at Josh, and, and uh, Frank made a good play. Right here in front. Now you run into a stretch now where you're losing games, but then now you've also you, know, you lose Sterling. Um, mm -hmm. You get the diagnosis with Jay. So uh, is it something you do as a coach to try to keep people's spirits up, or does, is winning the only thing that kind of solves uh, that? It's you know it's one of those things you feel bad for each one of those guys. You know their career's over. You know for Jay Simpson, it's, it was very scary what happened um, at Nebraska. So you're um, you're sad that his you know his dream of, of, of being a you know a basketball player, you know professional basketball player, which each kid has, um, is over. But you're also very fortunate that you know you detected something that could have you know taken his life. And so it's um, and that's really what we're trying to get him to understand at this point, you know, because um, you don't realize it really when you haven't been through it. You know, he, he hasn't had complications before, and now this gets to